I've never taken any coding or game development classes in my life, well excluding a couple lessons on Scratch five years ago in school, but despite my lack of knowledge when it comes to game development, I want to make one anyway, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to document my process through a YouTube series. Each video would have certain goals that I want to reach by the end of the episode so you know exactly what to expect. So for example, my goals for this video are to get something to move, have it collide with stuff, and have my player sprite be animated. I don't really know how difficult this will be, but we'll see. So with all this being said, I'm going to start coding, and you can watch me struggle. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I, I, I'm in Game Maker now, and I this uh, all looks very confusing to me. This is my first time loading it up, and I don't really know what any of this means. But I'm gonna watch a I'm gonna watch a couple of tutorials and just hope for the best, and see see how it goes. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I imagine it's going to be difficult, but, you know, I think it'll be fun overall and I'm hoping so. So, I guess the first thing I want to do is make someone and make them move. I think is probably the first step to lots of other steps in the future. Okay, uh, I just made my first sprite and, uh, well let's just say I'm not an artist. Uh, <laughs> I went with where where my mouse took me and ended up drawing this. These aren't permanent. These are down, down to change in the future. I'm, I'm happy with that. But for now, this will do as I'm learning. So yeah, it's, it's not great, but it, it'll, it'll do for what I need it to do. Whilst you watch me try to code, I'm going to talk a bit more about this series in general. So the end goal for this series is to have a game made and maybe release it. I'm not sure yet. As you can see, the engine I decided to use was Game Maker. This is because the type of game I want to make is a top-down RPG-like kind of game, inspired by games like Undertale and Heartbound. I think Game Maker is the best and easiest to do this in. Now I know making a game in this genre is rather cliche, I guess is the word, but I have plans to make my game unique from all the others in this genre to hopefully make it stand out a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run my game now. And hopefully, if I've done it all right, if I've copied some code down from a tutorial all correctly, hopefully I should be able to move. My game's up. And the moment of truth is, is it going to work? No. <laughs> I pressed the keys and it's not working. Okay, let's see, see what I did wrong. Okay, attempt number two. Well, well I can move up and down. I can't move up left and right, I can move up and down. Why is that? Do you reckon? Well, it's a start. All I did was make these here capitals. Oh, I see what I've done already. Okay, now. Oh, I can move left and right and up and down. Oh my god, I can do it. <laughs> there we go. So the only issue was, these weren't capitalized, these letters. Well, that's great. I'm so happy, let's go. Nice. So now that I can move, it's time to make things that I can run into, like walls or furniture. Now to do this was actually rather simple, even I could understand it. All I had to do was make a new object and tell my player, hey, if you're touching this guy, bring your speed to zero and stop moving. It's safe to say that, although I've only written about 20 lines of code, I actually understand it all so far. I'm not sure how long my understanding of it will last, but hopefully it lasts a while, as it will make this whole thing a lot easier. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna run it, and see if I go straight through these walls, or if I actually, you know, hit them. <laughs> uh, that, uh... That's not, that's not great. Uh, okay, well, it's a learning experience, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. Um, so again, that didn't work. I'm waiting for the time where I write some code and it actually works first time, but I feel like that's going to be unlikely. Okay, I got it to work. It turns out I was just being, 
I was just being very, very silly. And uh, I, I wasn't finished. I forgot to add this these few lines of code here. Uh, so I, that was just me being an idiot. But it works. I can now, as you just saw, I can now walk into walls. Let's go. Now with my collision mechanics working, I have one goal of this episode left, and that is to animate my sprite as it's walking. Now before I show you my sprites again, please remember I am not an artist, but I tried my best. So I've, I've done the sprites, uh, and for some reason they look really squished, and I don't know why. Um, this one's fine, but no, the rest of them look really squished, and I, I don't really know why. I can't be bothered to fix it. I'm just going to leave it for now. That's a future problem. Uh, but, you know, as I said billions of times before already, this is temporary and down to change in the future. Now, as I'm reaching my last goal of the episode, I just want to say thank you for watching. Feel free to leave comments offering advice or ideas for goals in future episodes, as that will help me out when I reach a point where I don't really know what to do anymore. If you do want to keep up with this series and keep track of my progress, feel free to subscribe, but you know, you don't have to. And that's all from editing Evan, so now back to past Evan, where he shows you his animated sprites. Okay, uh, I've, I've written some more code, and I'm going to run it, and hopefully my sprite will animate and move when I move, when I move it. Hopefully. Ah, what does this mean? I don't know what this means. I think I think I found what was wrong. I think it's this. I think I used the wrong sign. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's still wrong. Okay. Oh, well, I, I found another mistake and corrected the wrong mistake. I don't know what any of this any of this means. I just found another mistake. This here is meant to be three. Uh, let's, let's see if that does. I think that might have also been it. I think I might have just fixed it. Yeah. Okay, it works at least. If I go... Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to... um. That's it. I actually know what to do there. I need to change my frames per second. I'll do them all to two. Okay, yeah, it, I think that it needs to be higher, but it works. I don't know why my character looks so squished from the side. Uh, I'll, I'll fix that later. And look, I hit the wall. I do want to fix that because that looks weird, but that's not for now. Uh, I hit the wall. I hit the wall. And with that, I've reached all three of my goals for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.